Hi guys, it's Sweetie Love from New York. Welcome again to another video. So tonight I'm going to show you my nighttime routine. What I take because it's winter and you know I was having a lot of cold. And this is a remedy that I do from Jamaica. So here I have some ginger. So this is the ginger I have. And some lime lime or lemon whichever one you can get because right now it's very hard because everyone is buying up everything so whichever one you can get it's okay it's fine and here i have some parsley so what i did i bought the parsley i washed it you don't have to cut it i just washed it put it in a strainer to let it dry and then i just put it in a ziplock bag and i put it in a refrigerator so whenever I want to use it at night, I just open, um, take out a bag, take out whatever I want, and just blend it up. So these are the ingredients. So parsley, lemon or lime, and ginger. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean the ginger because, you know, it has those roots and stuff. And you can't cut it because then you cut it, you're going to take off most of the stuff off it. So what do you do? You get a spoon. And you just hold the ginger in your palm of your hand and you just slide it or glide it you slide it and just to use common sense if you can't get in here you just break it yeah I'm strong you just break it and just use a spoon glide it on it so you see everything is coming off all of the skin some people would tell you that the skin is the best part of me personally, I don't like it. So I just use a spoon and I glide it off. There you go. Get in the corner. So the spoon works wonders because the spoon, anywhere you want the spoon to go, it will go. See, right in these little corner. And you just peel it off. Peel it off. That's it. Okay, so the spoon work wonders. It's amazing to see how the spoon just take off everything. So that's one piece. I'm just going to rest it here and then I'm just going to do the other piece. And it depends on how much you can tolerate because you remember ginger is very harsh. And some people have interjection problem. So people can't, some people can't tolerate ginger. So it doesn't matter how much or how less you do. It depends on how much you can tolerate for me and my girls, it doesn't matter to us because we're used to it. We've been doing these things for years. Whenever we have a upset stomach or we feel for something gingery, if that's a word, we make it. Sometimes we usually just um, put a little honey in it if you want, you know, something sweet. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to wash it off and show you guys how it looks after I wash it. And if there's any little thing leave that on it, it's fine. You know, just wash it off. And voila. That's the ginger right here. So I'm just going to clean up my little mess right here. So whenever you're cooking, you must always make your surrounded area clean. Okay. So that's the ginger. All right, let me wash my hands. I have a bad habit. I've been washing my hands so often, it's so dry. But it's just a bad habit that I have from ever since. And I use a lot of paper towel. But this time there limits me to get four. I only could buy four. And this is the lime and lemon. And how I do it, my daughter always say juicy. How you do it, you get the lemon or the lime and you just put it on the surface, whichever surface, whichever surface you have and you just roll it put, put your palm on it with one hand rest the other one and you just rub it why am i doing that you might ask i want to get all the juice out of it because sometimes you know you cut lime or lemon and it's very dry you don't get nothing out of it so this is another way of doing it yes and just another form of working out so you just put a little pressure on it and roll it don't mind. I don't do my nails. <laughs> don't watch my hands. 
So I'm just rolling them. Just rolling it. Yeah, this one is a little bit hard. So I need to roll it a little bit more. Because I want to get as much juice out of it. You know. Normally I would do two or three just for myself. But as I said before, my girls, they want some. Because they drink it. And the thing when you have kids, you have to start very young. Whatever you do, if you introduce it to them when they're young, they will get accustomed to it because these stuff are acquired taste. You know, you give them the first time and say, ew, yuck, I don't want it. But over a period of time, if you give it to them, they get used to the taste. And I've been giving it to my girls from their young. Young as four. Yeah, young as four. And they make it theirself. The only thing I get another one. So this is this is my ninja bullet and this is my magic bullet. So I let them use this because this one is expensive and I don't want them to ruin that one. So when they want to make anything, they do it theirself. So this is the last one. Nice and juicy. So after you roll it, can you know everything? I wash my my stuff before I put it in my refrigerator. So I already washed it, but I like to wash it. I'm just going to rinse it off again. I'm just going to wipe the surface that was on rolling. And let's put it on a paper towel. Yeah. Put it on a paper towel. And so now I'm going to combine it to my ninja bowl. It's already washed but I like to rinse it out I'm kind of OCD forgive me so I'm just gonna rinse it out and then you see you don't even need a knife to use to cut the ginger I'm just gonna use a spoon and just break it up break it up because you don't want to put a whole thing in it because as I said to you before this ninja bullet is expensive and I rather just take Take it, let me take it safe and just cut it up with some muscle. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just using a knife, not a knife. <laughs> it functions like a knife, but it's um, the spoon. And just break it up. Just break it up. Okay. So that's good. Now, let me wash my hands again. Now I'm just going to take Now I'm just going to take some of the parsley. Yeah. I'm just going to break off some of the parsley. Put everything in it. I'm not gonna use too much because I just said to you, everything is expensive and I don't want to waste it. So that's the stem. I just want to get some of the leaf. And parsley is good for different reasons. You know, you cook with it, you make a smoothie with it. But I use it for my my cold. And I do this every night, guys. I drink this every night before I go to bed. So this is the last meal, the last thing I put in my mouth before I go to bed. And then here's my lime. So I'm just gonna just cut it. Just gonna cut them. Cut up my lime. Oh, it's juicy. You can see the juice is. Ooh, spraying out. See, this one is really juicy. Let's see the juice coming out of it. Mmm, juicy. So I'm just gonna juice it, get all the juice out. If you have one of those stuff that you juice, the thing. If you have one of those stuff that you juice. You know what do you call it? That you squeeze orange. You could use it, but 
my hand is strong enough, so I just squeeze it and I get everything out. Yeah, I don't need one of those devices. Get everything. You might ask why so much lime. We love lime. And it's kind of balanced it with the lime and the, the ginger and the parsley. For me, I like mine a little bit strong. So that's good. And for all those trying to lose weight, lime is good for belly fat, they say. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but I'm just telling you what I do and what works for me. Because every one body is different. So these are the last two. Mm. Gotta really put some muscle in it. Yeah. Okay, this is the last one. Oh my goodness. This is like a workout, guys. All right. So I'm gonna put it on. Close it. I gotta get some water. Okay, I'm back. Let's get some water. I'm just gonna use one bottle of water because, oops, my bad. As I said to you before, I'm doing it for me and my girls, so you wanna have enough. And you don't have to be a full glass. You just want it enough. So I'm gonna close the lid and turn it on. And it's gonna make noise, but obviously it's on. <laughs> Okay guys, that was it. And the reason why I blend it so long because I want to get all the ginger to blend out. So, let's clean up my surface right here. There you go, put this aside. And, this is it guys. It's kind of, yep, you could use a, I could strain it, so you have an option. You could strain it with a strainer, or you could just drink it like this. Some people don't like the, um, the stuff that came from it, but for me, it's fine. For my girls, I would just strain it and give to them, so that's it. That's my nighttime routine, cold remedy, parsley, ginger, and lime, and guys, it works. I'm not selling anything. I'm just telling you what I use especially now i do this every night and i feel good so thank you for watching this video this is sweetie love new york i appreciate you take your time out to click on this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel press the like button Press the notifi notification button so whenever I upload a video, you can see it. You get notified. And don't forget to share. Comment down below. And i see you in my next video. Have a good night. Bye.